Hi, glad to have you with us on Post Game Plus. Chris Sheeran and Frank Isola with you. The final score from Orlando on Friday, Magic 121, Nets 113. The hole that the Nets dug themselves against the Orlando Magic tonight, Frank, two too deep to dig yeah, out. Yeah, and they were down 19 at the start of the fourth quarter. They did close within six, had a couple of chances to make it a one possession game. Couldn't do that. James Harden, who's been great, finally had a dud. He did not play well tonight. And again, the Nets were still close. But here was the difference the Nets were 10 for 37 on threes. And Orlando was 21 of 40. They were outscored by 33 points on the three-point line. Very difficult to win a game like that. Absolutely. Gordon's 38 points gave him the fourth highest scoring game of his career. His all-time high also came at the expense of Brooklyn, a 41-point effort in October of 2017. Kyrie Irving had three of Brooklyn's 10 makes from long range in a 43-point effort. Afterwards, Steve Nash was asked what he can take away from the loss after his team's late attempt at a comeback fell short. A few things. I think, first of all, you know, maybe we weren't sharp enough to start the game. Attention to detail wasn't quite there. We got behind, and uh, we really played hard, found our way, fought our way back into the game. You know, the other hand, they they made a lot of shots, and, um, you know, we weathered it. We gave ourselves a chance. When we got cut it back down to six or, or less late, we had a lot of good opportunities, um, a lot of wide-open shots that just didn't fall. So, um, you know, if I'm being super critical, I think we could have started better and, and been a little sharper there. Um, but having said that, I was proud of the way they fought back, um, uh, weathered an incredible shooting night by the magic and, uh, and just our shots didn't fall when it counted. Knowing that you have such great, you know, shooters, do you kind of chuck this up as one of those nights, as much basketball as you've played and as much basketball as you've seen, yeah. is there just nights like this? For sure. I mean, you know. Yeah, I guess uh, 21 of 40 or three from them is outstanding. And, uh, you know, that was in many ways the story of the game. Um, if we had been maybe a little sharper to start, maybe we could have cut that down a little bit. But uh, perhaps it just was one of those nights. But you always want to look at it and take something away from it and say, you know, what can we do better and how can we improve? Brooklyn will return to action Sunday with a home game against Washington. 6.30 is the start time for Yes's coverage, which you can watch on TV or stream live through the all-new Yes app, available wherever you download your apps, of course. Frank Isola, I'm Chris Sheeran. Thanks for watching Post Game Plus.